everybody, I'm back. I'm really sorry it took me ages to upload this video. Uh, it's been quite a transition coming here to Australia. It's been about two weeks settling in and all. Uh, but I finally found some time to put together a quick video. And I'm going to talk you through how to prepare yourself for a long-haul flight with a baby. As some of you may know, when you go on a long-haul flight, it can be quite a trip. Especially when you have a baby with you. It just makes things a little bit more complicated, but totally doable. So don't be scared. Uh, I'm just sharing my experience because as a parent, I do like to hear about other experiences to be prepared for um, anything that I might have heard of and listen to everybody's tips. So here goes. My number one tip when you book a long haul flight is and you're traveling with an, a lap infant, try and book a bassinet. Sometimes you have to ring the airline, sometimes you have to pay for this, sometimes it's first come first serve basis at the airport, which is why I like to be there early. Having a bassinet just makes things super easy because whenever Leo slept, I just put him in the bassinet and I could have a rest myself. So the bassinet seat is definitely something you should look out for. You should also think about uh, baby food. I usually make Leo's baby food, but for the trip, I wanted to avoid it because I didn't want to risk any contamination. Now, some airlines provide you with baby food. Sometimes you have to ring them to book the service. Um, on this particular case, I was given baby food jars. I had three different ones, which was really nice of the airline to provide this without me even booking. Uh, Leo doesn't eat puree food, which is why I didn't bother. Um, so what I did, I would order something that is good for him to eat and I'll feed him little bits from my food. And I also... Um, had snacks. So make sure you are prepared with snacks, anything that your baby likes. Biscuits, these little fruit pouches, which come in really handy, yogurts, juice, anything that your baby likes. Just make sure you're prepared. Almost forgot to let you know. Um, one thing I really suggest, this is how I roll this up, by the way. One thing I suggest you take with you is a silicone bib. This is Leo's. It has this handy um, mouth, I would say, that grabs all the food that falls, so you're not making a mess. I like to keep his spoon in here or his fork. And when it's dirty, you just wipe it off with a baby wipe and it's good to go. Instead of taking 10 different bibs or whatever, if you're gone for a whole month or two, you just take one, easy. Something interesting you should know is that the stroller, uh, your stroller can be used up until the aircraft you just fold it down then and the staff will take it from you and then return it to you when you get to your destination airport. I did have a, a bit of a complication with my stroller. I have a travel one, so it folds down and I can put it in, on, in the cabin, in the overhead compartments. Uh, there was one occasion flying from Rome to Hong Kong where they, wouldn't, they didn't allow me to do that, so they took it from me. But then they failed to give it to me in Hong Kong, so I was stuck without a stroller. Luckily, the airport provides uh, baby strollers, so and that was a really good thing to have. So I used one of theirs, but just in case the airport didn't, I have my Ergo with me in my hand luggage at all times because you never know when you're going to need to be hands-free. So that's a good thing to have as well, a baby carrier. I'm sure you've heard this tip. Um, make sure that you nurse or bottle feed the baby upon takeoff and landing. This helps their ear pop. And uh, if, you're, if it's not their feeding time, at least feed them, give them the pacifier so they can suck on something and it still helps their little ears. Now, I just want to go through some of the things that I would carry in my hand luggage just to uh, uh, give you an idea of everything that I take. So I had Leo's uh, diaper bag and I also had my hand luggage. So I would switch things uh, depending on what I would need on the plane. But basically, a good thing to have is a blanket. I would take a cotton one and I take this fluffy one. This is a hooded blanket. I use this just to keep Leo warm, either while sleeping in the bassinet, cover him up if the, ace, if the air con in the airport is too cold, or it serves for padding uh, for the bassinet. So this is something handy to have. Uh, clothes. Make sure you take extra clothes. Not only for the baby, but also for yourself. On this occasion, I didn't have issues, but Flying uh, domestically in Brazil in the span of five hours, a five-hour flight, uh, Leo threw up on me twice. 
So thank God I had a change of spare change of clothes. At least a top. You need a top. Um, it's a good thing to have. And besides dressing comfortably, guys, it's good if you layer because sometimes it gets too cold or too hot and you have to take on or put on stuff. And as for the baby, while the, when, when Yo was uh, younger, I would prefer a onesie, something like this. I did take this um, arriving to Australia because um, I wanted him to be really warm. And if you are taking something like this, make sure for your, for your benefit that you get a, a zipper one. Because those tiny buttons are just something extra that you don't need on the flight. Um, but I actually prefer just putting a pair of pants, top and a baby grow underneath because it was just easier for diaper changes. That's my personal opinion though, you might prefer the other thing. So baby carrier, I mentioned that, diapers. Make sure you take extra diapers. You don't know if your flight is going to be delayed or cancelled or where you're going to get stuck. So make sure you take enough diapers. And bottle feeding. If you're going to be bottle feeding, I suggest that you take as many clean bottles as you can because it's not very hygienic or you don't really have a clean place to clean your bottles while on board. And it's not the cabin crew's responsibility to do that for you. Uh, in my case, I had two beakers because Leo only recently started accepting the, a bottle. But for feed, feeding wise, I bought myself a thermos. This is about 700 milliliters, I believe. Um, I took this full of hot water, but I was ready. If, if security would ask me to throw this out, I knew that I could just go to any cafe and buy or they sometimes even give it for free and fill this up with hot water so that I always have this handy instead of having to stay asking cabin crew for hot water anytime I need a bottle. I also have this formula dispenser, which I kept this topped up at all times with the right measurement. And then I just open this up. Put it in the bottle so it's easier but in my hand luggage I have a I had a small can of his formula because I didn't want to be stuck in a delay or a flight cancellation without his milk so this is why I had this in my hand luggage also make sure that you feed the baby uh, lots of water even yourself. Stay hydrated is very important. Leo has this little beaker with the straw so it makes drinking easy without spilling. Um, yeah, just keep topping up his water and keep offering because of course he, he can't really ask you for water. And moisturizer or at least a lip balm or something like this for your lips. Um, I had a, this is pink but I have a see-through one uh, which I also put on Leo's lips because if I was getting dry, I'm sure he was getting dry as well. Another handy thing that I uh, that I have is this travel change mat. It's really handy for when go going on for diaper changes in the bathroom. In here, I can if I just grab this and put about two or three wipes. Mind you, I would have this in my hand luggage, but instead of carrying this. Just put three in here and you're good to go. And I also have a diaper and a travel size barrier cream. And in here you have your change mat. So this was really handy to just carry to the bathroom with the baby instead of having to carry the whole diaper bag. Another good thing to have for sanitizing, uh, Dettol surface wipes and hand sanitizer. They come in handy. Oh, and this is what I was telling you about. This is something I wanted to tell you about. Uh, these are Milton uh, sterilizing tablets. You dissolve them in water. So this can be an alternative. If your baby is younger than one year and you will be sterilizing, maybe it's a good idea to get these and buy bottled water and have a small container in which you can uh, sterilize the bottles yourself while you are on the airplane. If you are taking toys for your little one, I suggest that you take something that is not very noisy. Uh, something like this. Or like this. But avoid this. Last thing you want is a noisy toy for your own sake and also for other passengers sake. You don't want to be stuck with your baby doing a lot of noise during the entire flight. 
So guys, basically that was it. Um, another, one last thing, the airline did provide this, which I thought was super cool. This is a bag with two diapers, two Mustela products, and I just thought it was something really nice of them to offer their passengers with infants. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my tips, guys. Um, another thing that you can do is make sure that you rest before your flight, because... Uh, probably you won't be getting much sleep and also make sure you give a, a, the doctors a visit before you leave your country to make sure that the baby doesn't have any ear infections or is sick because they're gonna suffer if they have an ear infection and um, so guys i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did if you have any other tips that i haven't mentioned or if you want to share your advice comment in the section down below subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one Bye.